the Front Lines Football Review with Coach J.D. Wallace. Brought to you by Stivers Chrysler Dodge Jeep of Prattville. Trustmark Bank. CBE. And Durban Auto Park. Good evening, Line Nation, and welcome into the Prattville Lions Football Review with head coach J.B. Wallace. I'm Will Barrett, looking back at last Friday's 49-10 win on the road against our biggest, our biggest rival in the region, Stanhope, the Stanhope Elmore Mustangs. Coach, congratulations on a big win. Thank you. Thank you. It was a huge atmosphere, uh, huge game. Uh, of course, it's a crosstown rival, so it was great to get that win Friday night. Well, there's no question about it, Coach. And they came out, you know what they do? They put all their eggs in this basket. They do they plot all the stops to beat Prattville and like throw the records out the window. And they had a little momentum early. They're up 10-7 in the first quarter. And then here comes Prattville with 42 unanswered points. Yeah, uh, you know, hats off to them. They, they came out with an opening script that was uh, kind of uncharacteristic to what they've shown on film. Um, they've done some things a little different, a couple formations that they hadn't shown, and, and we had to adapt. And, uh, you know, hats off to the defensive staff for, for figuring that out and uh, coming up with a plan to kind of neutralize what they were doing. Um, but, you know, they, they jumped out on a 7-0, and uh, we answered back with a huge kick return uh, from Cam Shanks that, you know, kind of got momentum back. And, uh, you know, and, and, you know, the rest is history from there. You know, for the first – First couple of weeks, our special teams have been a little bit of a problem on the kick, on the kick return and kick coverage. But the last two weeks, it's been our savior. Yeah, seen a massive turnaround there. Yeah, you know, and, and that special team is something we spend a lot of time doing. Uh, we spend a lot of time working on that. Um, you know, Coach Lansdale is our special teams coordinator, and and uh, he's put a lot of time and effort into making sure our kickoff team is on point, and um, you know, and, and being able to be efficient. Um, you know, the, we struggled the first couple of weeks huge kick returns, but now we're getting better. We're kind of hitting our stride there on kickoff, uh, on our kickoff team. Kickoff return, um, you know, two weeks back to back, we've had kickoff returns for a touchdown, but you know, that's the third of the game. And uh, that's gonna come into play here in the future, but definitely Friday night, uh, those special teams, you know, and, and even Turner Walker, you know, with his yeah. efforts punting the ball yeah. and things like that. I mean, we even had a chance to get one um, that was muffed a little bit, um, you know, so we gotta, come to, we gotta come up with those balls here in the future. You know, when you're if, if I'm a kicker on the other team, looking at our special te- at, our, at our kickoff team, I know I've got Blue on the right and Shanks on the left, and I I don't want to kick it to any one of them. And those guys not only play well in this in the special teams, but also showed up big in the offense Friday. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, Blue had one catch with one touchdown. It was 22 yard reception. Um, you know, and, and Shanks had four receptions and a touchdown. Um, so both of those guys, you know, I feel good with the ball in both of those guys' hands. You know, KJ Blue's an up and coming young man. He's a 10th grader. Uh, his best days are ahead of him, but we still think there's there's still a lot of gas in the tank for him this this season. Um, you know, offensively, um, just looking at those guys and looking at what we put together offensively as far as stats. Cam Richardson um, stepped up to the plate, been our quarterback last week, but really had a huge night uh, Friday night uh, with 162 yards passing. Mm-hmm. Uh, he threw four touchdown passes. Uh, Maya Callen had two of the four. You had K.J. Blue and, uh, with one, and you had Cam Shanks with one. Um, Calvin Parker, uh, you know, he's been our, our clutch third down guy. Uh, he had three catches um, as well. So, you know, we spread the ball around to five different receivers. Um, on Friday. That's huge. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And uh, Mario Parks, another 100-yard rushing night. He had 112 yards on the ground. Um, Donovan Arrington had nine carries, uh, had a little under 60 yards. So, um, you know, running the ball, was, we did that very well also on Friday night. We saw also what, what Stanhope wanted to do. They wanted to get in the hands of that, that big six foot three receiver. And our undersized cornerbacks was in his pocket all night long. Yeah, yeah. I, we got a scrappy bunch. You know, we're, we're probably not going to win a competition when you look at what they look like on paper, you know, 5'9 and things like that, especially when we got 6'1 receivers. But, you know, I go to war with those guys uh, mm-hmm. any week because they work hard and they have the right mentality. Uh, but, yeah, that uh, number four for Stanhope was definitely a talent. And, um, uh, you know, we knew the offense ran through him, so we, we definitely had to do some things to kind of take him out of the picture. So we tried to put someone in his face as much as we could. And uh, defensively, you know, Sam Payne had a, another huge night, 12 tackles. Uh, Melo Jones had a huge night with another interception. That's two on a year for him. Yeah. Um, Zay Parrish with the interception, he has about three or four on a year. Tyrell Callen um, had a great night. Um, so collectively, you know, we, we had a huge night defensively getting to the ball, especially after we kind of got through the, the early in the game jitters and settled in, started playing our football. Um, we were able to kind of settle down and, and kind of get after the way we wanted to. Absolutely, Coach. It was a great night in a very hostile environment. Uh, over in over at Stanhope Elmore High School, but the Lions come out victorious 
in the interstate rivalry, 49 to 10. Let's take a look at some of those highlights. Big crowd on hand tonight for this rivalry game. As Scott takes the snap, hands it off to Thomas again. This time Thomas is hitting yes, the line sir. of scrimmage. He is pushed back. Mr. Sam Payne, uh, Shanks at the 20 yard line. Shanks 25, trying to cut to the outside. 35, 40, Shanks in the open field, 45. One man to be the kicker is in the 40. It's gonna Shanks be a race. 30. Shanks in the 20, Shanks in the 10, and he's gone! Touchdown! Touchdown From the shotgun. And he rolls that right again, looking for the same play before. He's got a man down that there, and it's down there too. And this ball is intercepted. Zay Paris at the two yard boy, line, Zay. picks it off. Second quarter action getting underway here. First and 10 lines from our 39 yard line. Here's Richardson on a give, though he keeps it. Play action. Richardson's going to run with it across got the 50. And he's got a first down to the Stanhope 47 yard line. Attaboy. Richardson with the four receiver set, three to the far side. Parker alone on the near. Parks back there with him. And he's going nice. to keep it again. Oh Finds my. his hole, and Richardson's got a little room. What a block by Calvin Parker. And Richardson takes it down to the 20 yard line. Cam Richardson sends blue in motion and gives it to Parks. And Parks finds him hole. He's got some open space across the 15. Parks the 10 to the 5. That First boy, and goal, Prattville. Here is Richardson. Quick play action pass, and this ball is That's caught. caught in the end zone. It's caught it in the end zone. Touchdown. It should be a touchdown. It's a touchdown. It is. Now Put it is. Put your hands up. Okay. Courtesy of the Reed Montgomery touchback. Here's a kid to Thomas. He's hitting the backfield. Hemmed him up. Hemmed got him up and time. takes him down at the 15 yard line. All right, here's Richardson from the shotgun. Wants to pass. Flips it out to Blue. Blue at the 20. He's going to score. Blue at the 10. Falls He's in. Touchdown, Prattville. He's leading it 21 to 10. Carter Bryant wants to throw it. Looking downfield. Did some pressure. He is down. And he is sacked. He is sacked. Ooh. Number 21, Whit Rollinson, the first one there on him. And Tice Cotter and company comes and cleans him up. Picking down in a long eight coming up for the Mustangs from just outside their 22-yard line. And you're going to give it up the middle again. This time he is met by a horde of angry lines at the line of scrimmage. And he's going nowhere. That is Davion Thomas. Crowd working this two-minute offense to perfection right now. Richardson wants to throw to the far side and has it complete at the 19-yard line. And another first down. That ball is complete to Cam Shanks. Cam Shanks. And Richardson gives it up to Arrington. Arrington puts his head down, runs he's over a man, in. and he is in the end zone. Here's Bryant. First and 10 for their own 16. He gives it up to Thomas, and Thomas is stroked. He is Ooh. stroked at the 16, 17-yard line, finished off by Brian Braggs. Three receivers on the far side, one to the near. Arrington back there with him. He drops the pass and throws it out, complete to Shanks, with some blockers ahead. Steps he aside, may he may go. Shanks to the 15, 10 to the 5. Touchdown. Touchdown, Bradville. Oh, that boy Cameron is Shanks. good. Here's Bryant from the shotgun. Gives it up. He, he is didn't. stroked in the backfield by Tice, by Sam Payne. He didn't get he it. He did not get it. Sam Payne on the stop brings up fourth down. Play action. Looking for a man in the end zone. Fires in that direction and is in knocked, knocked away. away. Knocked Smart away by play. Brian Braggs. Knocks it away at the goal line and Prattville takes back over. Has it. Gives it up to Aaron. No, he keeps it. Uh, speed He's going to run. Again. Richardson in the open field. 40. Richardson's stumbling and rumbling out to the 50-yard line. Cam has it, gives it up to Parks. Parks big follows the big blockers, and he's got a lot of room. Get out of the way, official. He's down to the 40-yard line of Stanhope before he's finally taken down. Play action to Parks, rolls to the far side to throw. Has his man down there wide open at the 20-yard line. Down to the 10 to the 5, dives. Touchdown, Prattville. Game clock down to 3, 2, now 1. They just do get it off. And to give this to him, he is popped. When Deldrick Rollinson at the line of scrimmage says, you're going nowhere, sir. Have a seat with me. Third down and five as we begin for the Mustangs from our own 25-yard line. And oh, it's knocked great away. play, Carmelo Jones. Arrington. And this time, Browder keeps it. Browder's got okay. space. Browder at the 40. Browder across the 35 to the 31-yard line. That's a great run by Browder. Was. Here's the inside give to Parks. Parks in the there open field. Parks to the 20. Jumps over a man, State oh, keeps nice. his feet to the 15. Oh, wow. What balance by Mario Parks. Browder pitches it out to Parks. Parks dives in the end zone. Touchdown. That one stays inbounds. He's under the goalpost. There we go. Touchdown, Prattville. 
First and 10 Mustangs from our 23-yard line. Bryant wants to throw, and he's going to be sacked. He is going, he is going to be sacked. Speed rush by Eric Miner and Tyce Cotry. Yep. Welcome back to the Private Lines Football Review. Coach, it's time for to it's time to announce the Buffalo Rock Pepsi Player of the Game. And uh, there was one ex, one very much extremely standout player Friday night. Yeah, well, Friday night, Buffalo Rock Pepsi Player of the Game is going to go to a guy um, that has stepped up and took a new role in our offense and has done an extraordinary job so far, and it's going to be Cam Richardson. Uh, Cam Richardson threw for 162 yards, had 55 on the ground. He threw for four touchdowns um, and led our offense to victory on Friday. So Cam Richardson is our Buffalo Rock Pepsi Player of the Game. Congratulations, Cam Richardson. You are the Buffalo Rock Pepsi Player of the Game. Coach, it's time for our favorite part of the show every week inside the Lions Cage. And we got an interesting character in the cage today. Oh, yeah. Th this week inside the Lions Cage, we're going to go with one of our defensive backs, um, a guy with great personality, um, plays hard on the field, um, has, a, has a mean streak that you really you have to see him play to see that mean streak. Very physical young man, mm -hmm. but he's great to be around. And that's uh, Tyrell Cowling. He'll be inside the Lions Cage. So this is going to be a treat. Yeah, you're going to enjoy this guy. Let's go inside the Lions cage with number three, Tyrell Cowling. My name is Tyrell Cowling. I play cornerback and I graduate 2023. Who's been your most favorite teacher to this point, K through 12, and why? Ms. Myers and... She helped me out a lot with math, and she taught me a lot of things throughout the years. That's Miss Myers two weeks in a row. Kudos to Miss Myers. Okay, if you were stranded on an island alone with all your food, water, and shelter needs taken care of, how would you pass the time? Mostly sleeping through it. <laughs> all right. Imagine someone gave you an elephant. You aren't allowed to sell it or give it away. So what do you do with it? Take it for a ride around the city. All right. What animal do you think you're most like, and why do you feel that way? A cheetah, because they're fast. <laughs> All right, good answer. All right, a benefactor has given you $500,000, and you have to use it to launch a new business. What kind of business will you start? A technology business. All right. What kind of technology? Video games, video games. All right, good, good answer. Okay, describe football like you're speaking to a five-year-old child. Football, you know, is all about hard work and doing the best you can do and giving it your all. What's the first smell that comes to mind when you think about Friday night football games? The turf field. Yeah, that's good. Most people say burgers on the grill. <laughs> if you had to choose today, what would be the title of your biography? The Life of Tyrell Cowan. <laughs> right. Do you have an unusual or hidden talent? Playing hockey. Exactly. That's unusual. <laughs> What's your favorite uniform combination? I'll say white on red. White on red? Okay. Wait, I'm on red bottoms. You mean, gotcha. Red bottoms, white tops? Yeah. Okay. Ready? Here we go. School. Math. Football. Cleats. Family. Cookout. Prattville. Lions. Dragons. Fire. One, two, one, two, three, four. All right.
Hooray for Prattville, hooray for Prattville. Someone's in the stand yelling, hooray for Prattville. One, two, three, four, two, we get yelling for Prattville. That's who. Ooh, yes! Woo! Final segment here on the Private Lines Football Review and Coach. It's time to put to put this big rivalry win away because we got another rivalry coming right up around the corner. Yeah, you know, uh, we're back to the region play, and, uh, you know, we're in some must-win games, and uh, Enterprise has been playing some some real good football this year. Mm -hmm. um, they lost two tough games to Auburn and Central, um, but that's a good football team. They're good football teams that they lost to, so, you know, I had a chance to go up and watch them in person and watch them play, and uh, they got players all over the field, so we have our work cut out for us this week on the road at Enterprise. It's always a difficult place to play. They pack that place in. You've been there before, we've come away with good results, but coach, anytime you go down that far into the wiregrass, it's complicated. Oh yeah, yeah, that's it's something about playing in the wiregrass. You know, you got to you know, you got to make sure you travel well and you got to make sure you guys stay focused. I mean, that's going to be the huge thing about playing this one and it's a region game like I said, and these region games are adding up. So, uh, this one has got to count. So, we got to make sure we do all the little things right to make sure we come out with a win. Mm -hmm. on Friday night. No doubt about it. Kickoff set for 7 o'clock next Friday down in Enterprise, Enterprise High School. Um, make sure you travel down there. The Lion Nation has always traveled well. They packed the stands against uh, against Stanhope this past week, Coach. There was more, seemed like there was more in our stands than on the home side, and that's not the first time that's happened. Man, you know, I noticed that, you know, coming back after halftime, I looked over there and I saw the, the proud, well, proud over there. Mm -hmm. You know, that pride was in the stands, and, uh, you know, that's something that, that is intimidating to the other team as well. So make sure we get down Friday night and pack the stands. We want more Proudful fans there than they have Enterprise fans there. I mean, that's something that we expect, and that's what we do. That's right. The broadcast team will be in the stands with you. So come join us Friday night out at Enterprise. And until then, for Coach Wallace, I'm Will Barrett with Millser behind the camera saying good night, God bless, and go Lions. The Prattville Lions Football Review with Coach J.D. Wallace. Brought to you by Stivers Chrysler Dodge Jeep of Prattville. Trustmark Bank. CBE and Durban Auto Parts.